All right, lads, we have two chances. Well, to be fair, only one, because we're not going to be winning in the Cup Series. But this is the long-running joke of pretty much NASCAR 3 for us. We are going to a plate race. It's going to be at Talladega, and we're going to try to win. We have not won at Daytona or Talladega in this entire career, or in any race, in any mode on this game. Uh, we have not won at a plate race. It is nearly impossible, I think. I, I, I'm starting to believe it is impossible. But here we go, Legend Difficulty, we're going to be in the 42 car, we're going to Talladega, at minimum get the top 5 to try to get those 4 straight top, that's a really hard incentive contract by the way, but we'll try to get those 4 straight top 5s, but in the end of the day, I'm going to really try and push hard for this win, but the thing is, I feel like it might be easier to do with Daytona than Talladega, just because Talladega is wider and I don't know if we can block even if we do get to the lead, but we're going to give it our best shot. Ah shit, here we go again, green flag is out. We have, uh, again, the first two stages going to be pretty self-explanatory. We're going to try and make up as many spots as we possibly can without really doing too much damage to ourselves. Oh, it's only two laps. What the? Eh, I should have made it a little bit longer, I guess. But, oh, well, uh, we'll get the job done. I'm not really too worried about it into getting at least to the top five. But we'll see how we do for the rest of it. Well, they're checking up right in front of me. We're coming to the end of this first stage because it's only two laps. But uh, it's been an interesting thing. I'm trying to not get any damage on the front end of my car. And we have lost the draft of anyone. So we're going to lose a few spots here. Please just end the stage. End the stage. End the stage. All right, there we go. We gained 10 spots in stage one. Uh, I think everyone I actually didn't check how much fuel we have. So we'll see if everyone's pitting. No, nobody is pitting. We will just kind of follow along. I'm okay with it. Uh, we'll try to get up to the top 20. And then pit, take no tires, uh, just fuel. Should be able, that should be able to get us up towards the front. And then we'll get the job done from there. I kind of want to see if we can just make up a decent amount of spots here on this restart before we really get stalled out here. We have to get the bottom lane too. And... Ah, damn it. I tried not to hit uh, the 21 of Hemrick there. Hopefully that didn't give us damage. I don't think it... Oh, it did. How did that give us... Ah, damn it. Alright, gives a little bit of damage, got to repair that because every little bit matters. Even that 2% of arrow matters a lot at a, a plate race like this, so we're gonna have to fix that. Wait, why am I going to the top? No, no, back, back off, back off, back off. No, we're going. Yeah, come back down here. We're not leaving this bottom line. We have a big run coming to the end of this stage as well. We got underneath Majeski, we could just keep going. We're into P17. We got in the top 20, so that's what we needed. And looks like we're going to stall right here. Going to give Dylan a little bit of a shove. Try to stay around this 15th area. Maybe go back to 16. Maybe side by side with Jeski to get it. Get it. We're going to get 15. Okay, so now we got to fix the damage. That's number one. Uh, even though it really doesn't mean a lot, we still got to fix it. And probably take no tires and just a little bit of fuel. And that should get us on our way. So we got one can of fuel, no tires. We will fix the damage. And we'll go up on the tape 1% and see if that works where does that put us that leaves us in 15th we can get the job done from here we're gonna have about seven to eight laps to go and that is plenty of time to get up towards the front it's gonna be what do we do when we get there and you guys know the drill here how these these usually go but well we always got to keep trying i feel like before nascar p4 comes out i have to win at least one race on this game at a plate race and we'll try our best what the hell Jesus Christ, Truex just came right down and then just hit the brakes. And that's really going to hurt us. That probably gave us damage, because I don't know why he did that. He was in the second lane. And then out of nowhere, just, just dropped right down, and, and instead of staying on the throttle, he just smashed the freaking brakes. That's never happened before. And that really pissed me off. That broke our momentum, too. We're going to try and get that back. Let's force our way underneath the three of Dylan, four wide a little bit. They check up. And again, we can't leave the bottom lane, so we've got to stay down here. We've got to pick these guys off one by one. Oh, why? Oh, no. I'm really messing up. We hit the apron. And back we go. Okay, that's not what we needed. Oh, okay, now race is almost over. Is, is it over? It's probably over. We're going to try and slide up. Oh, my God. I don't know how I hit the apron, and then we got contact on the right rear, which, of course, because the physics are broken on this game, sends us down the track, and uh, that's it. That's that. I mean, I don't even think we can get a top five from this position. It's, it's officially... A done deal. Oh, gee, what the? Okay, now I'm starting to get pissed off. It's just really frustrating. That's really all it is. I mean, I, I think I've said it on endless occasions how broken the physics are on this game. And uh, they really need to focus on that with a, hopefully a new physics engine slash game engine. 
because it's it's just really frustrating. It makes it not fun at certain points. I thought they fixed the whole bouncing off of things, but every time a car touches you on the right or left rear quarter panel, you just die every single time, and it's it's just beyond ridiculous. And uh, it ruined our race, and so now we're not even going to be able to get the top five position. Uh, that incentive contract is done, and uh, we'll probably finish in the back somewhere. Just there's no point in running back here. I'm just going to turn myself. Oh, look, see? I come straight down on someone, and I just ricochet back to the right instead of when I get hooked on the left rear, I should be going straight to the inside wall. The physics are just completely broken. They don't make any sense. If I'm turning hard left across someone's nose, I should go sideways to the inside wall. I should not be ricocheting back to the right. It, oh, my God. It's, it's so broken. It, it, one lap to go, we're in the back of the pack, we're just getting over with, we can't even pass anyone. Really, really frustrating race, not exactly, ah, uh, get the hell flexsealproducts.com out of my way, jeez. That is the end of our race, I want to drive head on into the wall real quick. Again, I should be going straight up the track. I should not be ricocheting back. That's gonna bother me for like the rest of the, the time I play this game now. Ay, ay, ay. All right, let's try this again. This time we're going back to our difficulty because that's what we're gonna do for the uh, the hot seat races. We're gonna be doing the Geico 500 in the Germain Racing number 13, I think it is. Um, that's the car we're gonna be using. If I think Germain Racing does own the 13, if I'm right, I'm, I don't know, I don't remember. So $150,000 if we get it done, hopefully we do get it done. And I don't know, I, I feel like from the last race, if we stay in the draft, we actually can maybe get like a top 30 top 25 ish I think but this I don't know it, we're not gonna really have much of a choice we just gotta see what kind of speed we have this is gonna be really interesting all right I wonder if this was planned driving the Geico car and the Geico 500 but we will see what we could do with Ty Dillon's number 13 Geico Chevrolet and hopefully we stay in the draft and hopefully we are able to uh, get into the top 35 we got six laps in this stage let's see what we got we're still in the first lap. Looks like we got something. It, it looks like we have some speed. I'm going to just test it going to the high side. I know we should never go to the high side, but I'm just testing to see what we got. And, well, we don't got anything on the high side, obviously, but it seems similar to the Xfinity series, just a little bit slower. You know, we're not going to be able to get to, like, the top 20, I think. But I think top 35 is definitely possible if we just stay in the bottom and stay patient. We'll see how this all, you know, plays out. We're definitely getting some decent runs here. I gotta stay in the draft at all times, so, like, right there, I, I mean, there's nothing I can do there. I, I go up, I lose the draft, so you guys just stay behind other cars. Look at this, we have a run on the high side. Oh, we got split the middle. Come on, come on. Yeet. Yep. Yeah, we lost the ground just by making that little bit of contact. Ah, yeah, yeah, this is gonna be tough. Trying our best. Oh, there's a wreck. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Oh, don't, 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 God. Oh, okay. A good thing. I think the caution came out before I hit Jimmy Johnson <laughs> square on. Oh, my God. They wrecked right in the middle of the pack. Uh, looks like everyone's pitting. We have no damage, so that is nice. We are going to just do our job here, take four tires and move on. We're going to bump the tape up just a little bit. There we go. Where do we end up? We stay in 30 seconds. That's nice. We're going to have to pit again. That we can, No one can make it to the end of, on fuel. Well, that was a big wreck, and that got us up to 30 second place. I don't know how we're in 30 second place, but we're in 30 second place, so that's that's pretty good. All right, so I think Larson's back there for some reason. Green flag's back out. Let's try to get to the bottom lane, and we're behind uh, good old Showman the Bone. Oh, wow, we have damage in the front, but it doesn't, it doesn't count for us, so I guess our car's just mangled up, but... We're still fine. That's good news. All right, uh, they're gonna check up on the bottom here a little bit. No, they're not. All right, we're gonna we're in the top 30 now. Uh, let's just sit here. Let's stay in the bottom lane and sit. Or we could. Uh, I sure went to the bottom right there. Hold on. Wait, they're checking up a little bit. Come on, come on. Boom. There we go. All right, and we're in Dawson Dillon. Who's coming to the? Who's that? Uh, I don't know who that is. is that Sorensen? I think. Yeah, it is Sorensen. Okay. They're like three and four wide up there. We're going to just try and actually have Reed Sorensen drop down. That'd be great because we need someone right in front of us. Thank you very much. We're going to get pulled from that. All right. We got something to work with, lads. This is this is going to be interesting. I feel like we get a little bit farther up. We just have to be kind of patient with it. So we'll just see what we can do. Oh, my goodness. We really do. Oh, no. So ah, come on. Stop cutting off my nose, people. Look at us go. We have another run. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. There we go. We're in the middle three wide. We should be able to get clear of the 30. What? How the 34 just gained that random sudden burst of speed right there? That made no sense. We were gaining on him, and then he just, I don't know, came out of nowhere with a burst of speed. We're going to go through the... Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, come on. No, not again.
God damn it. How are we still 33rd? Other people pity. Alright. Let's do this again. At least the front end of our car isn't really like that damaged anymore. It looks nice again. I like looking at a, a good front end. Alright. Can you not side draft me either? Okay, I got no draft. Oh, this is fantastic. There's a lot of weird stuff going up in front of the pack. There's a lot of checking up. I don't know what's going on. They're, they're three wide up there for the lead. Holy crap, there's a lot of interesting racing going on. We don't have any runs yet, so we're trying to just kind of get going. Oh, there's only one lap left in the stage as well, so we're not really going to be able to do much here. But we did pit. I don't think we can make it to the end on fuel. We definitely can't. So we'll probably pit one more time or maybe see if we stay out. And if we only have to pit one more time, we'll just have everyone else pit and then kind of, I don't know how it's going to work. But we'll figure something out. We'll see how the strategy works at the end of the stage. All right, the end of stage two, we're going to be right on our goal no position of 35th place. Let's see what people are going to do here. Let's also see what kind of uh, laps we have left. I think we have about eight laps of fuel remaining, and we only have a Yeah, so everyone's going to pit, um, and that's probably the right decision. We're only going to take a splash of fuel because we already did everything. Let's see if that gets us up a little bit. It does. It gets us up to P10. So there we go. The strategy has worked. We can make it to the end on fuel. And now we just have to hang on. I don't know what our car is going to be like up here. Green flag is out. Let's try to get to the bottom as soon as we can. And let's get in a third gear here. And the bottom is not opened up. So this is not the best of starts. We're just going to try and keep the momentum up. And just wait for something on the bottom to open. Because we can't really do anything right now. We're going to get a little bit of help from Larson. He's right on our bumper. I wish he was a rival. He could help us a little bit more. Uh, we saw, okay, we still got a little bit of a run here. Here comes Blaney. He's going to come up. We're going to fall in behind him, force Elliot up to the top three wide. Still trying to push Blaney. Just, yeah, I'm trying to get in front of the 95, but we're not going to be able to. Blaney's going to check up. We have to check up. And let's try to slide it in right behind there. Perfect. All right. Let's see. We're running in eighth place. <laughs> I love hard difficulty. This is basically legend just in a three-star in a three -star ride. We're trying our best to stay in the draft. We're side by side with Ryan Blaney. We're holding our own here in this 13 Geico Chevrolet. I'm trying as hard as possible. We're, re we're really losing the draft to DeBenedetto now, so I kind of need one of these guys to drop in. We gotta keep Bubba hot behind us. Blaney dropping, dropping, dropping. Ah, uh, no, wait, that, that guy blocked Bubba. Holy crap, this is getting a little bit close. We just gotta survive. We have eight laps of fuel left and also eight laps left in the race, so it's gonna be kind of close uh, on fuel, but I think we should be able to make it. Let's get underneath Blaney again. I kind of want him to drop down too, because you see, as soon as we pull out, we have no momentum, so we have to be very careful here, and there's no one in front of us in the bottom lane. There we go. Good job, Ryan. All right, thank you for cutting off my nose there, but now we can help you a little bit. We have a run on Blaney. going to try to side draft hard, and it didn't really work out. Side drafting for us doesn't really work on this game, but it works with the AI beautifully, and we're just kind of stuck in eighth place. I can't do anything. There's not enough people in the bottom lane. We have to always protect the bottom lane. We don't have enough of a run to really get anything going. Uh, it's a very interesting kind of race so far. Kozlowski's in the top lane falling back in that interesting red paint scheme. And now we're starting to make some momentum. As Blaney just stays in the bottom lane, we can get something going. And I think we could finish in the top five, honestly, if we just kind of have everyone gather up down here. And let's just keep it going, keep it going. Maybe get underneath Kozlowski, trying to stay right behind Blaney. Trying as hard as possible. Don't drop down, Kozlowski. There we go. All right, if I can get, get some help from behind, that would be helpful too. Bubba, get closer to me. Come on. Oh, this is a problem. Bubba's going to the high side. We have nothing. Oh, we got absolutely nothing now. Oof. All right, it looks like eighth place might be the highest we can possibly go because we don't have enough speed to kind of hold on to these front guys. Just going to try the best we can. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? Why are you pitting? And why am I stuck to you? Oh, my God. Oh, my fucking God. I can't actually believe that just happened. Are you actually serious? I was stuck to him. I had no chance to, to react. He stops right in front of me. And then I was stuck to him. I, I can't be asked any... What in the actual hell? What in the actual hell was that? You know, why are people pitting? Okay, now this is just really weird now. Okay, so we'll see how the heck this all works out. Apparently no one can make it on fuel, I guess. I don't know what the, what's happening, but everyone's pitting. This might still work out for us. I just want a top 35 at this point. I'm so fed up with, with what's been going on at these Talladega races right now. More cars have entered pit road. We see them. 
We are now in 25th, 24th, 22nd, 21st. Three laps to go. There are a lot of cars on pit road this time. Is it possible that we could maybe win the race? Will everyone come down pit road? Because then that would be something. Because we can make it on fuel. We have two laps of fuel remaining. Oh, if we win this race, I just can't be bothered anymore. Like, it, this... What, what is this game? What, what is this career? What, what is this everything? Winning the... This is scripted. Me being in the Geico uh, car, in the Geico 500, with literally no chance to win and somehow winning on the most bullshit possible way ever. Are we in the lead? I think we're in the top five. We're in fourth. So it looks like not everyone's going to come down pit road. I wonder who is leading. We're in the, we're in the top freaking five. Oh my god, we're going to finish in the top five. This is amazing. We come through the tri-oval in one of the dumbest races I've ever been a part of. And we will finish in fourth place. Coyer LaJoy gets a third place finish. And I have no idea who's won yet. Kerr Bush won. Okay, not crazy. <laughs> Reed Sorensen finished fifth. Oh, what the actual hell has happened? Oh my goodness. But, hey, we, we got the job done. I, I mean, we got more than the job done, I guess. I, I guess we should thank Bubba Wallace. I don't know. Hey, look at that. A four-star ride is up next in the hot seat offer. So now we're... No more hard difficulty. We're back to the good old legend difficulty. We actually wait. This is at Dover. Might want to keep it at hard, but now we'll go back to legend difficulty to see if we can get into Austin Dillon's ride uh, in the three cars. So that's gonna be very interesting in the Drive for Autism 400. But for now, I'm done with this game. <laughs> no, I, I can't be asked. I, I'm I'm so confused as to what is going on and uh, is, what has happened. So. I'll see you guys later. If you like the video, make sure to like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Comment down below. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not already. And we'll see you at Dover in the Cup Series. Peace out. I can't change. Even if I try. Even if I wanted to. And I can't change. Even if I try. My love, my love, my love, she keeps me warm.